Hello everyone, welcome back. It feels like it's been 150 years since I sat down and talked about some things that I've been loving. So that's what I'm gonna do today because I haven't uploaded a favorites video in months, <laughs> like multiple months, which is the first time I've skipped months in a really long time. So we've got some catching up to do. I have got some absolute crackers for you this month, a bit of an accumulative loving situation. So because there's a lot of products, I'm not gonna ramble on. On with the monthly favorites. <laughs> you know what? The first monthly favorite is a bit of a vain one but it's my hair. I had my hair dyed pink by the amazing Claire, who is my hairstylist, who I love so much. I did a campaign uh, last week, last week, a couple of weeks ago, and it's really exciting. I can't wait for you guys to see the images. But anyway, for said campaign, I had to dye my hair pink. Well, I didn't, Claire did it. And it was like vimpto purple. And obviously now it's pretty faded, um, but, I had purple hair this month and I absolutely loved it. That was my first favorite. Okay, I'm gonna start with beauty and then I'm gonna go on to fashion. Then I'll move on to like music and things like that. So the first favorite has to be the biggest favorite of the entire month. It is the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. This has swiftly become my favorite foundation. And that is such a big title because if you know me at all, which you all do know me, Pretty well by now. Foundation is my favourite thing ever and I try a lot of foundations and basically oh, there's a hair stuck in my lash. 99% of my favourite foundations are high end. So when I saw that this was now available in the UK I jumped to try it because it basically does everything or claimed to do everything that I want. It's just like a glowy light medium buildable coverage foundation and it's affordable what more could i ask for so i did a whole video doing a first impression on this foundation and my opinions haven't changed i'm wearing it right now it's absolutely stunning it is such a great foundation um it lasts all day on my skin this is the only foundation i wore in italy and it was like 23, 24, 25 degrees. I was sweating, I was exploring. We had long days where I didn't, I didn't touch up my face once. And this looked amazing all day. And it's amazing. I used the shade 205 Natural Beige. It's a really nice yellow undertone. This is incredible. And I highly, highly recommend it. It's available on Amazon. And I'll link everything that I'm talking about in this video down below for you. The next favorite, again, is something that I've used every single day since I got it. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. I've got quite the collection of these now, which are actually in my branding colors teal, mustard, and baby pink. It's a sign. The Modern Renaissance and the Soft Glam I absolutely love. I actually think the Soft Glam may have overtaken in the ranks my Modern Renaissance palette. These shades are so up my street. I'm wearing a few of the shades on my eyes today. They have just got the most Oh, they're so, oh, there is eyeshadow all over my hands. Where did that come from? They are so pigmented, like hyper pigmented. The black in this palette is by far one of the best black eyeshadows I've used in the longest time. I use these shades basically every single day. This has been my go-to look. Primarily orange soda, burnt orange and sienna. Three of those shades just whack on my lid and it's the perfect light day to day warm smoky eye this is the only palette i've been taking away with me obviously i've been traveling a lot this month or the past couple of months and this has been the only palette i've taken and it's perfect for daytime nighttime i can do a smoky eye i can do a light shimmery eye it's just amazing so so good i actually have another anastasia product in this video. I've been absolutely loving the Anastasia bronzer in the shade Saddle. This is really nice. <laughs> Definitely have a look at the shades because they're really, really pigmented and the shade Saddle is quite a dark bronze. So because they're really pigmented, be careful what shade you pick because it could go a bit muddy on you if you get something a bit too dark. So this is perfect for me at the moment because obviously 
I am still quite tanned from my various trips. So this is working for me so well. It's super duper pigmented. It's not entirely matte. It's kind of like a satiny finish. So it gives your skin a lovely glow, a lovely sheen. I use it to both contour and to bronze because it's not crazy warm. It's quite a neutral kind of bronzer. A little bit of warmth in it to bronze, but also it's a little bit cooler. A really good shade for me at the moment. And yeah, really, really like it. The packaging is nice and compact. Again, the only bronzer I took traveling with me apart from my hula for my nose because I've got to contour my nose with hula every day. Duh. I've got a couple of quite expensive products. First product is actually quite new to me. I've only been using this for a couple of weeks, but so far I've noticed an enormous difference. I picked up the Sunday Riley UFO Ultra Clarifying Face Oil. I have tried the Lunar Night Oil and I didn't really get on with it. I really liked it at the beginning. It felt really moisturizing. My skin looked really plump when I woke up, but I think it was a bit heavy for me at the moment. I don't think my skin needs it yet. It was just a bit too much, a bit too thick. And I found that on my forehead, I was starting to get tiny little bumps where my skin was really congested. As soon as I stopped using that, it kind of went away. So I still use that, but I use it like once every week maximum as more like a treatment than like a night oil, like a nightly oil. I have been intrigued by the UFO range because my biggest skin complaint is definitely blackheads, enlarged pores and scarring. And this is supposed to target it because it's salicylic acid. I always find that hard to say and I'm really proud that I got it first time. 1.5% <laughs> salicylic acid. This quick drying treatment oil helps to clear build up and debris from congested pores for smoother spot prone skin. And it also, um, lightens darker spots, so scars. I have quite a bit of scarring on this cheek, so anything that is gonna lift and lighten scarring, I'm up for. And honestly, I have noticed such a big difference already. I bought the little bottle because this is expensive. I was scared that I may not like it and I didn't want to invest in an 85 pound bottle of oil if I wasn't gonna like it, so I did get the smaller one. I can already see a difference in my nose. My pores and my blackheads look so much better and I'm genuinely shocked because nothing seems to make them better, but this has made such a difference and I even think that the scarring on my cheek has faded as well and it's been like two weeks. If you are willing to invest, if you are someone like me who struggles with scarring or congested skin and you're really looking to try something good, then I do recommend investing in it um, because so far so good. The next product was kindly gifted to me around Christmas and I didn't really use it. Then about a month ago I used it and I've used it basically every day since. This is the By Terry Ombre Black Star in the shade Bronze Moon. Now you will have seen me use this in a tutorial recently. So it's a cream eyeshadow stick in like a taupey bronze shade. And I don't use this as a cream eyeshadow. I use this on my waterline. So I'll do a super dark smoky eye, kind of like what I'm wearing today. And then I'll pop this on my waterline and it just adds depth to the waterline. Like it makes it smoky and smudgy and it looks like a liner, but it's got beautiful like reflex in it. So it keeps your eyes looking bright and open and in like pictures and stuff, it just looks stunning because the light just catches on the like glittery flakes. It's so beautiful and it also looks lovely just all over your lid kind of blended out, but I like it much more the way I use it. There are loads and loads of eyeliners like this or cream sticks like this. You don't need to get the By Terry one, but the formula of this is amazing. It's so pigmented and creamy and blendable. Sorry if anything just moved and lovely, but it is pricey, but I'm sure you can find something similar elsewhere, but little tip. I have moved on to a new brow gel. How can a brow gel get better? Well, I recently started trimming my eyebrows. I have never wanted to trim my brows because I'm like, I don't have enough hair to trim. Like, I don't want to take away anything from my eyebrows because I just want them to be as big and as full as I can get them. But I obviously got them microbladed and I feel like I really want to be able to brush the hairs vertically upwards to make them look fluffy rather than them lying flat because I've got really long brow hair, just not a lot of it. I trimmed my brows 
and I wanted something that's going to hold my brows up and I had this this is the benefit 24 hour brow set I had this in my drawer and I'd never tried it because I don't tend to use clear brow gel I like things that are more fibrous Jamie Genevieve who you guys know I absolutely love she talked about this in her video she talked about this in her video she talks about this all the time and says that it's the only brow gel that holds her hairs up so I fished this out of my drawer and I tried it and I've used it every day since because now I brush my brow hairs up and the other way to fill in gaps and this once it's set like my brows are not going anywhere until I wash them off tonight this is the longest lasting brow gel with the firmest hold I have ever used and it's amazing I really really love it highly recommend it if you've got unruly brows or if you just want that really fluffy effect this works so 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 well I've moved on from gimme brow to 24 hour brow set and if I'm feeling crazy which often I am I will use this to brush up the hairs and then I'll go on top with the gimme brow to add more depth and fiber okay finally the highlight that I have been wearing constantly this month is Max Oh Darling Extra Dimension Skin Finish. I love this stuff so much. Funnily enough, I'm actually not wearing it today, but I took this and my Amrezy palette traveling with me, and these are the only two highlighters I took. I fell in love with this. So I love um, Beaming Blush, which is the pink that reflects gold, but it's a bit too gold. I wanted something a little bit more, it kind of blended in with my skin tone too much. I wanted something that was a little bit icier that will stand out a bit more and this is perfect it's a gold but it reflects silver so it blends into my skin tone but then when the light hits it it's a little bit more intense because it's a brighter lighter cooler highlight if that makes sense it is so so stunning and it looks wet it's like a wet look highlight which you guys know is my favorite it's why i also love the amrezy because it doesn't look shimmery it just looks whew. when I was in Italy I just highlighted my whole body with this and I felt like a glowing goddess if you're yet to try this highlighter get your hands on it it's amazing okay I've got one hair thing and then I'll move on to some fashion you guys know I'm the queen of the texturizing hairsprays I love the way one I love the IGK one I heard loads of people talking about this this is the Cool Girl by Sam McKnight, Barely There Texture Mist. So everyone was talking about it and I was like, well, I have to try it because if there's a good highlighting, highlighting? If there's a good texturizing spray on the market, I need to get me my hands on it. I went and bought it and I love this stuff. It feels really light on your hair. It doesn't weigh your hair down. It doesn't feel crunchy. It just adds a nice amount of texture. The smell's not awful and overpowering like I find a lot of hairsprays are. And also just look at that packaging. It's so pretty. It gives my hair that grit and that texture that I really like without it feeling like I've got loads of dry shampoo in my hair or like hairspray. It doesn't feel sticky or tacky. It just feels a little bit cooler. Cool girl. <laughs> On to fashion. First thing that I've been loving this month is actually what I'm wearing right now. This is from And Other Stories and I did my first ever And Other Stories shop the other day. It was a very exciting moment for me and I picked up so many things and I absolutely love every single one of them. You'll see them hopefully in an upcoming haul soon including this item here. The quality of their pieces is so lovely and I'm so glad I made my order. So yeah this is one of my favourite pieces. I love, oh sorry was that out the whole time? That's really annoying. I love it because it's got this kind of slashed neckline. I find this extremely flattering um because it shows a little bit of collarbone it's really slimming but i like things to come quite high i don't like particularly having cleavage i just love the shape of it it's really boxy and it's just like a gorgeous kind of parisian striped jumper and i've worn it to death and i got loads and loads of questions when i wore it on my instagram the other day so i thought i would wear it again and tell you where it's from it's from and other stories and I've been living in it. I now need to give a massive shout out to my two most worn items from the past couple of weeks, these. <laughs> I have been getting so many questions about these accessories because these are the only shoes and bag that I wore in Italy. So 
If you aren't following me on Instagram, you have to follow me on Instagram because when I go on these hiatuses, I know I haven't uploaded a lot recently. It's because I've been away a lot and I've been living life and having a really great time, but I'm always posting on Instagram. I keep you guys updated over there all the time. So if you aren't following me, go follow me there because you also get to see like my outfits and stuff like that. I was wearing these accessories in every picture and you guys have gone crazy. So starting off with the shoes. These puppies are from Urban Outfitters and I have worn these into the ground. These were so comfortable. They are lovely and worn in now. So the leather is super, super soft. So at no point have I felt like they were rubbing. They started off really soft, but they've just got softer and buttery. Uh, they just look lovely with every single outfit. They're from Urban Outfitters. I don't know if I said that. They weren't crazy expensive, but they're just these gorgeous tan slides. They look lovely with tan feet. I love the color. The best shoes ever and a must have for the summer. If you need a new pair of slides, then get these. <laughs> and my bag of the trip was also actually from Urban Outfitters and it was this gorgeous basket bag. I like it because the strap matches the shoes. This just makes, ev maked? What? Do I speak English? This just made every outfit look so summery. I felt super, super summery and beachy. These are obviously massively in fashion at the moment and you can probably find a cheaper one elsewhere, but this one's really, really nice. I could fit a decent amount in here. I got my phone, I have a 7 Plus, I got my vlog camera, I got my wallet, I got sunglasses, a lipstick, um, and a packet of tissues, because I had a cold. And that's all I needed, and it all fit like a little glove. You had to do a little bit of a Tetris situation to make it all fit, but once it's in, it fits-ish. It shuts, at least. This is gonna be my go-to summer accessory combo, 100%. Loved both of these, and the cost per wear is so low already. <laughs> okay, the next piece isn't particularly summery, but I have loved a lot over the past couple of months. It's really basic. It's just this basic top from uh, Topshop. It is just a ribbed, cropped, um, tur is it a turtle a funnel neck? Long sleeved and it's just so super, super soft and flattering. I absolutely love this. I wear it all the time. It looks great with loads of necklaces and I'm really sad that it's gonna be a bit too warm to wear it soon, but um, while I still can, I'm gonna get as much wear out of this as possible. I'm so glad I got it. I just bought it on a whim and it wasn't particularly expensive and I also bought it in pink. I have the same one in pink over there just because I love the shape and the fabric of it so much. Absolutely love this top. You know me and have watched my channel for a while. You know I am a sucker for a please say lot because they are the most comfortable things you could ever wear. And I didn't have a black pair, which I thought was ridiculous. I saw a pair of black please say culottes, culottes, <laughs> black please say culottes with a side slit down the leg. They have been amazing. I have worn them so much. I wore them twice in Italy because they're really cool and comfortable. I traveled in them and I wear them day and night. They're just the best find ever and loads of you were asking me questions about them on instagram so i thought i would mention them here and my final fashion favorite so loads of you have asked me about this as well on instagram um and you recognize it because i do actually have this in green this is the woman's version of my green one so i have the green cord trucker jacket from urban outfitters and this is the women's version but again in this gorgeous like pale beigey blonde color. I just roll up the sleeves and yeah, I have worn this to death. We'll continue to wear it throughout the spring summer and um, I thought that you guys would be interested in that. So again, I will have linked that down below. Right, okay, that is all of my fashion and beauty stuff for music. So Tim and I, about a month ago now, went and saw the vaccines. We love the vaccines. And the whole way home from Scotland, when we drove home, we were listening to their new album, which I love, Combat Sports. So I thought I'd play a few of my favorite. Probably my favorite song is just a really good feel good song and it's Take It Easy. <laughs> I 
I also really love Surfing in the Sky. Again, a good summer feel good song. Another album that I've actually really loved recently is George Ezra's new album. Um, again, I think we listened to it on the way back from Scotland, and there's a couple of songs that I love. The first one being Paradise. And then another one which I really love is Shotgun. I think that is everything that I've been loving over the past couple of months. Let's go with yes. <laughs> I have linked everything down below for you guys if you would like to have a look, a bit of a browse, maybe buy some of these things. There are direct links down below. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. Let me know down below what you think. And if you have any video requests of things that you would like to see, then make sure you leave them down below. And don't forget to go follow me on Instagram. I think that's everything. Thanks for watching. Have the best day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.